Hey there guys, in today's video, I'll be showing you how you can create a no code chatbot for WhatsApp and use it for your business or for your project purpose. Also, this video is sponsored by Wati, so I'll be using Wati to create chatbot for WhatsApp. And they have a really good interface to use them. So let's get started. So now this is the team inbox and from here you can check and reply to all the messages that user sends to you and as you can see these are some automated messages that have been sent so just like this I'll show you how you can create your own automated messages with images and text just like this so let's move ahead and go to automate messages. So in this, you can see there is tell me more message. So I'll click on edit and yeah, you can add your own keyword and this is currently exit matching. So it's just same as when you use Rasa adding intents, giving the training examples and that will match the exit keyword or sentence that user had said. So right now I'll click on add keyword and add tell me more about your product. So now go to the next step and then this is the text messages that I have added in here. You can also add multiple kind of messages. So now I'll click on add text and here you have to add the name of the message that you'll be sending and the content that will be shown to the user. So I'll click on cancel and edit the one that I created. So here this is the name of the message that has been sent and the content is this is the tell me more message so this is the same as i said about rasa you just have to add the name and the content that's it so now as you want to add the image i click on the image section and there you just have to click on add image so it, you just have to upload from your device just like that and the same goes for the video here in the video click on add video and that's it and now goes for the stickers so now for the stickers just start to click on add stickers you start to upload a png file and that's it so now for the document same goes for the document document can be used for multiple purposes that is pdf then txt and multiple so if you are a company then you might be thinking of sending a user product list or something so you can upload a document and it will be sent to the user so now let's move ahead and have a look at templates so now to create a template I'll be showing you how you can do it just a moment so now just now we have created this too and save it just like this and it has been saved so now let's move ahead to template messages here in the broadcast you can create your own template messages by going inside this template message and let me zoom it now you can create a new template message but right now i won't be creating it since uh, it will need two to around 30 to two days to get it approved that's why so let's say you want to add a name as track order and the category should uh, can be um, our shipping update language english and giving it as a text just text so here you can add it as hi with a name as name variable your you can add it like this your your product will be shipped today let's say this is a template message and you add a variable as name like this and then uh, for the buttons i'll skip it right now because there are multiple things that you have to configure right you will need to get it done. 
So I'll get back to the button section and tell you why I didn't add it. Like save it as raw. Okay. Uh -huh. The content for me. This is Monday. This has been and let's submit it. Submit it for validation. And it's currently in pending session. If it is approved, then it will be here. And like this. And if you want to read the template message guidelines, I'll add this in the comment section, this link. So you can read the whole thing. Now let's move on to broadcast history. So how broadcast can help you to keep the session on. As you saw previously, mm -hmm. the session was expired. So why it was expired? Because it has a limit of 24 hours. And if you want to keep it going, what you can do is you can create a broadcast message that will be sent at the moment it will get expired. Let's say you started a session at 10 a.m. morning and you your session will be stopped at 10 a.m. tomorrow. So what you can do is create a broadcast message that will be sent to a particular contact that uh, whose um, session will get expired. There you can uh, add it as these are the current offers or this is the current status of your query. And if you want to contact our agent, you can call, click on this button to contact our agent or you can check your status on this link. Right. So like that, you can create a broadcast message and broadcast message is created with the help of template. So right now, this is a shipping update broadcast message which I created. So right now I'll be creating one more say as new broadcast message as customer care. Okay, you can't add space right here because let's want to see while typing it. Let's say I want to add space, it doesn't add, and afterwards it is adding. I don't know why I'll I'll keep this as a bug. I don't know if it's bug or not. I'll report that. And see, uh, now you can select a template message which is approved and not in pending. So once it gets approved, you can send it right, right from here. So let's say a new chat and let's schedule it. Yeah, we can schedule it. It should be um, after five minutes. You can't directly set it to the current time. Let's say the current time is 48. So I'll set it for 49. Then yeah, so currently it's getting processed. As soon as I get this message, uh, you can see the notification right here. Let's go to team inbox and check as the message appears. It is so yeah. There's a button as tell me more, and there is an auto, this is an auto reply message which says we have received your message and we have update for you. And this is the link they have sent as powered by party. Let me show you how it looks like on WhatsApp. Okay, so right here you can see there's are multiple messages I tried and tested. So here this is the button and this is the watermark of them. This is the message. So how did I get Vati for WhatsApp, it's pretty simple process. So there are two ways to get it. So first one is to use their CRM. So there, there are two products that they are selling right now. First one is the CRM and the second one is WhatsApp business API. So if you are working on a project where you have to integrate with WhatsApp and you want to create a chatbot, which is a kind of customer care or, or something which is a mini project i would say not a project so for that you can use wati crm and since uh, while using crm you can use almost all the features and the mobile phone which you will be using it will not be yours but they are the demo one the the same as the twilio users when you go for a free trial so right now what you can do is just use a free trial for a project purpose and if your company and you want to use wati for your business so just get going 
to right here in WhatsApp Business API solution. I just showed you what are the features and how you can use them. Also, you can integrate your chatbot widget directly onto Zapper, Shopify, HubSpot, WooCommerce, Integromat, and then much more coming up next. So stay tuned for that. So right here, there are two links for Apple App Store and Google Play where you can log in for multiple agent purpose. So let's say your team for customer care and when the user has a query so when they say like i have a query of this this your agent can solve the query from anywhere anytime with the use of this google plan application there's also an affiliated link down below that way you can help me to grow this channel and work on more interesting stuff that will be coming up next so I hope you like this video and make sure to subscribe for more video like this and also there are multiple things coming up next and in next week there will be a big announcement video that I'll be uploading so stay tuned for that and if you have any kind of doubts you can add them into the comment section so there's also a intro to what video that you can have a look at it it will be right on the right hand side right hand side of yours so make sure to click on that and see you again